Hello and welcome back to Comp 1. This semester we are going to be reading a book called Born a Crime. It was written by Trevor Noah um, and it is stories from his childhood and his upbringing. Um, so the, the title of the book is actually Born a Crime, Stories from a South African Childhood. Um, it is an excellent book. It is funny and poignant and moving and hilarious. So I really hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. So let's talk a little bit about who Trevor Noah is um, and what the book is going to be about. So Trevor Noah was born February 20th, 1984 in Johannesburg, South Africa. He is a comedian, he's a television, television host, um, a political commentator, and an author. He was the host of The Daily Show from 2015 to 2023 um, and just, you know, a well-known, well-loved um, commentator and comedian. Um, he currently lives here in the U.S. Um, and sort of the story that we get in his memoir um, was about his upbringing. Um, so Trevor was born under apartheid in South Africa. His mother was a Tassa woman from South Africa and his father was a white man from Switzerland. Um, and because interracial relationships were illegal when he was born, um, his parents had to not only hide their relationship from authorities, um, but he was hidden as a child in a lot of ways. And so this book is just about um, his life and his experience, but it also um, covers some really important topics such as um, racism and violence and colonialism and you know family structure and mother-son relationships and just a lot of both really terrible things but also really beautiful things at the same time. Um, one of the clips that I have put in your online classroom is just a short little bit um, from Trevor Noah and doing this little comedy bit on Red Nose Comedy Day. Um, and I love this clip. I feel like it's just a good introduction to kind of who he is as a comedian, um, but also the way that he tells stories. One of the things that I love about this book is that you think you are reading a story about dogs right and it's you know feels like this very um, simplistic innocent story and then you get to the end um, and you're like oh that's really what it was about and um, Trevor has this great way of teaching these really important life lessons but doing it in a way that feels natural and feels very comfortable and there actually is a chapter about um, his dog Foofy in the book which I absolutely um, just love that chapter so make sure that you um, watch this clip in our online classroom there are some essential questions that we're going to be looking at and discussing from this book as we um, progress through it over the course of the semester but I just want you to kind of be thinking about these as you are reading so the first one is who am I and where do I belong Trevor really explores this a lot um, throughout his book and he explores it in terms of his racial identity in terms of his relationships with friends and peers as a child in terms of his relationships with his family in terms of relationships with religion um, and then even later in his book in terms of you know his relationships with his community and friends and even things like um, crime and money and careers all of that he looks at how things like racism violence and misogyny can impact a culture um, and then he really tries to answer this question of what is the nature of crime and how does it affect society? Um, and, you know, looking at the difference between sort of legality, what is legal and what isn't legal versus morality, what is right and what is wrong. Um, obviously, the book is called Born a Crime um, because his existence was illegal, but obviously it wasn't immoral or um, wrong. So this is a big question that is explored in this book. 
as you read, if you have any questions, um, if you have thoughts, um, share them. I'm going to be asking questions throughout the semester, but your questions are valuable too. Um, so if you have a question, feel free to ask me, but also reach out to your classmates. The discussion boards is one of the ways that we are going to be talking about this book, and I really hope that you enjoy it as much as I have.